I thought all the fallen angels were going to be named after the seven deadly sins, but no. We have the fallen angel of misery. She's a schoolgirl who got taught by the elf priest guy. And there seems to be some connection with the elf priest guy and the supposed dwarf baba that we saw. I thought it was some sort of guardian. In the beginning, I thought it would have been some sort of like lover. But then based on the appearance, I judged based on the looks. But if you think about it, an elf can live very long. So maybe they are really lovers in disguise. And Sensei also told the dwarf Baba that like she was supposed to be like a lady, right? So maybe there's something else going on there. Aside from that, what's happening? We're going to that place where Sensei has been taken by misery. The delinquent scorpion guy. His power has created a fucking bus out of some sort of animal everyone's going but sensei is separated so as usual they're gonna go in there sensei is gonna do his own thing then he's gonna show up saying <laughs> read a book deport let's go this is actually the least amount of cleavage and booba i've seen from her I've never seen it. Misery is the armor guy? I thought the girl was the knight was the... Never mind. Complete opposite. Girl greed, guy misery. But like... Bro, I... <laughs> Usually, like, she's wearing the other armor, battle armor, that just literally doesn't have this upper strap. So it looks like she's actually covering a lot, even though she's not. You go. The delinquent's coming with us, bro. I love it. He's actually... He's gonna be participating in the fight. It's not just like public transport. He's coming in. It's a trap. Don't go there. I don't like it. Oh, he got sucked dry. Everyone that gets affected by these purple hand things, they get like sucked dry, man. Even like the victims outside. Mm, that's right, past student. But he stopped teaching after her. Unseen hand. Oh, shit, you can summon. You're like a necromancer too? That's crazy, bro. Bro, pink pompadour delinquent guy is actually helping us fight. This is amazing. These ain't our enemies, Yuriko. Eminence and Shadow. Let's go, Divine Beast. No, they're not gonna stop. It's gonna be endless. Just, just ignore the skeletons. Go for her, Yuriko. Stop fighting the skeletons, they'll just keep spawning. It doesn't matter. Wasting time. Why would she be mad? Did she have feelings for a wolf, the priest? And maybe those feelings were never reciprocated because it's a fucking student, a schoolgirl. But on top of that, he already has a lover. The granny from last episode, you know? Like, is that what's going on here? Like, Wolf rejected her because of Granny? It, it, it can't be that simple, though, right? Oh, backstory time. Here we go. What a terrifying power. I mean, it's pretty good at combat, in, in my opinion. Hmm. Is Yuriko doing this for a wolf? Is 
Yeah, blush, blush. Yeah, blush means that she's fallen, 100%. Anime, you see blush face? Yep, yep. So like, this one simple touch. Oh, Sensei touched me in the shoulder. I'll kill the demon lord for you, Sensei, no matter what. Hmm. Oh? And that's where she gets the bow from. No, not yet. Until that day. You're not the Bubba. Yurika got power crept by a cuter girl? <laughs> Yuri and she actually has the red bow. She spawned with the red bow that she didn't buy in the village. That bow. So it's. You just wanted attention. Sensei chose the other girl because she was more talented. Skill issue. To beat the girl. <laughs> what do you want Wolf Sama to look at? You really think that just going up, using your terrifying powers to shrivel these plants and then giving it to Wolf? Like, look, look Sensei, look how powerful I am. He's gonna look at that shit and be like, hmm, it's kind of scary. <laughs> She's just that OP. <gasps> Sensei, you slut! You touch both her shoulders? You only touch my one shoulder? Are you gonna touch both her shoulders? I thought we had something special, Sensei! Oh my god! Cucked! Shit. Oh! That was a backstory flash. Family back home? Dad? New sibling. Yuriko, jealous that new sibling has taken the attention away from the parents. Okay, Yuriko just wants the attention. It's just that simple. Then her eyes changed. Jesus. Okay, what the hell is happening here? But like, look at this thing that she summoned. But look, bro, the new girl just gets dragged. The new girl just gets dragged into the depth of hell. <gasps> is she? I tears of black tears. Look at her. Look at her eyes. And then the ribbon. She's gonna take the ribbon now. Put it on her head. Yuriko is an insane girl, and she is 200% in the wrong here. There is nothing you can tell me that, like, she is a misunderstood person. Bro, she literally just... <laughs> she had a one-sided delusion with Sensei. She fucking... <laughs> she was so jealous. Her past story is just jealousy of this other sibling taking attention away from the parent. This girl's fucking insane, but she is like a 15, 14 year old kid, right? So it does make sense to her character, but like, this bitch crazy. Tama! Oh. What's going on? Oh, it's that thing again. What is that? I don't know, it's like some kind of crazy summon, man. But I guess Sensei will have to show up and teach Yuriko that you are being Chuni. Like, her entire dialogue is like, I am no longer human. I will fall into the darkness. This is the path left for me. But Sensei just had to show up and be like, Shut up, bitch. You're 14. Don't act like this. You're not that edgy. Yuriko, you're just a normal girl. And then she'll be like, oh. And then deport her ass. 
こいつは落ちるところベリーエッジ逃げろ今すぐやめろババアどういう関係そう、もし、もし、もし、もし、もし、もし、もし、もし、もし、もし、もし、もし、もし、もし、もし、もし、もし、もし、もし、もし、もし、もし、もし、もし、もし、もし、もし、もし、もし、Like, it could be the other girl, which would be fucking crazy if it was. But I thought that maybe this girl would be used to enlighten the Yuriko and be like, Yuriko, you're, you, you literally got jealous over nothing. Wolf is already engaged with this, blah blah, but this could be the other girl, maybe? She just aged that much? The greed powers. I don't know exactly what it does. It seems to sap away life force, but did it age her this much? I don't know. Is she actually? <laughs> Who is Hikari, the girl? Younger sister? Hikari? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Because, like, in the flashback scene, the kid in the bed with dad there, was that Hikari? It, I, I'm confused. So, are you telling me if both siblings were reincarnated? Sorry, not reincarnated. Isekai or. Apparently, do you go to on of Tariga Simagi? Booker Sakada Kokoe Kurumitsungara, Imoto Sani Hanashua Ki. So, if she is blood related sister, then she must have been the kid in that little flashback where dad was hunched over the bed. But that kid looks like such a baby compared to Yuriko at that time. But if it's the younger sister, then That girl in the beginning was also the younger sister, so both siblings got r e i n c a r n a t e d like Isekai here? Can you see Sun Nin Kazoko that Takoto? Imoto Sanga Osanai Koro, Son Nakanajo Kiminga, Ski Kiri de Cambio, Hitsuke Takoto. Aka Ste Ita. Sorry, the Mone Sanba. Tutto Soba, Anna Nitano Simini Ste Ita. Coco Nimo Hoton to Kayo Koto. Yamete. Boko Mune o Tareta. Yo, let Sensei talk. Come on. Sensei don't care. Tama, do your thing. Basically, right? Sensei doesn't really fight. He just Sensei just yaps and just like pierces the enemy's soul, and then our party just handles everything. And bro, Pink Pompadour still going in crazy, man. Give me more of your trauma. Tell me your deepest, darkest secrets. Hmm. <gasps> She was too busy caring for her. Yeah. Her own life finally began. But then her sickly sister. Also, got Isekai and took this life away from her, too. So it's not just a random innocent girl, it was her sibling. It's her vengeance against the sibling. Huh. <laughs> Sensei is even more interested. Wolf. Yeah. Whatever that thing touches, her powers, it just saps the life away, makes shit older. It like, sucks the life away. Makes sense how Yuriko's sister is like this now. 
Wallbang technique. While bloody, this is the first time I've ever seen this variation of the wallbang technique. She's listening. Well, it's working. Is she actually getting charmed by Sensei? Because, like, her powers went away. There was a wallbang there. The wallbang usually happens in rom com shows to kind of. Make the girl's heart go doki doki. So is Sensei replacing Wolf right now for Yuriko? She wants to wear her seifuku and go out. Looks great. Yuriko ain't having any of this. She wants her own graduation, bro. The whole outfit, the ribbon, it's all that. She just wanted this, but she could never have it because of her little sister, which is unfair, but oh. Her own graduation. You worked hard. Sensei just needs to say that. Sensei needs to give her closure of like, congratulations, you worked hard. Uh oh. What happened? She dead? Oh! Eldad. Eldad. I blamed this on Yuriko in the first half, but now with extra backstory, I can totally understand how she turned like that. The attention seeking is bad, but it's a child, bro. In a crucial moment of her time where these are things that should be expected. And, bro, this dad, like, <laughs> just what a shitty fucking dad. This is her fault? How? She just got a fever. Not the ribbon or dad. This scene, this is the scene we saw. See, I dismissed this as like a new infant sibling being born and giving attention all the way to the new sibling and not to Yuriko, but like with that actual context, yeah. This dad is the fucking reason everything sucks. Poor girl, man. Could Sensei be her papa, though? Could Sensei give her the attention she wants? <laughs> okay, this was crazy, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what happened back on Earth? Her going out because she also wanted her own little impromptu graduation ceremony? Yes. And her not being there when, you and when her sister got fucked up? I don't know. But like, <laughs> this is crazy though, right? <laughs> this is just crazy though, right? The inks, man, the tears. The introspection though, she's very aware. Now Sensei, lift her up. Sensei, you gonna be that guy? Congratulations, you worked hard. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wolf? No, 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 sister. Because, oh. like, only shitty people seem to get summoned here, right? Or people with extreme negative feelings. The sister must have been upset after she realized that her sister is gone, right? I don't know. It, it must have been pursuit of her sister. 
Where's Yuriko? The ribbon. That's right. Where's did where did my sister go? Wonder what the dad thinks about the sister being gone. Does he even care? So much time has passed. And she's gone. She went out the window. Mm. <laughs> this truck couldn't, bro. Both siblings <laughs> in front of the same house, bro. <laughs> And then imagine. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. I I imagine your your sister that was looking over you that you saw like an angel just disappear and you lost hope of her coming back. So you drifted onto the street. You got hit by a truck. You got isekai here. You find your sister again. <laughs> your sister just sends you to the fucking bottom of hell. <laughs> just think about from her perspective of what Yuriko did to her as soon as she showed up. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. Wait. So they did meet and talk. You don't have to suffer anymore. I'm so glad. Then a couple days later, she uses that fight. She just sends her to the abyss. Aww. Everything about this is so fucked, man. Like, damn. She wanted to do this so her sister didn't have to fight. Oh, God. For my sister. At least they reunited though, right? This is happy. Oh, Sensei? <laughs> deport him? Now, I hope when Hikari gets deported, she returns to her youthful self and they can just be both siblings back home together. That's right. Get him out of here. Deport these illegal aliens. Mm -hmm. Return, return. <laughs> nice. Now, I mean, it's not like being a granny is bad, but something about her youth being stolen, it just feels bad, right? So, all right, it can be reversed. Now, do you think they'll reverse Wolf too? Yeah. Yeah. Like, this is all Sensei's powers, right? So what have we seen Sensei do? He can deport. He can also seemingly buff Tama. But I think that like um this power is kind of abstract because he didn't really buff Tama, but it was more of like making Tama believe in herself and then the sacred beast sign coming back, right? I don't know. But now with this scene too, the sensei's power is so flexible where it just kind of like <laughs> cleanses the problems you know what's the problem here the greed took the fucking lifespan and energy away sensei was able to just reverse that shit right so looking pretty powerful and it gives life back so it just basically canceled the greed right it just basically canceled the greed Little memory gifts. Okay. To our shitty dad? I don't know. Something about that dad still being like there it makes me mad. I don't know. Maybe the dad has a poor backstory too, bro. I don't fucking know. Another successful deportation. All right, let's see what happens back home with Yuriko and Ikari. Is Ikari still sick or what? 
Wasn't the dream, girl. It was very real. It was a dream where I chased after you and then you sent me to the bottom of hell and then I turned into a granny and then something happened. A weird guy deported us and now we're back. Happy ending and I don't want to see the dad. The paper. And that is the conclusion of this arc between Hikari and Yuriko and damn bro the plot twist I was trying to guess on who this Baba could be but I didn't have the connection of what her powers were doing and how it was sucking energy away or something and how potentially it could make people older so that was the younger sister a bunch of expectations subverted so at the end of the day it's the dad's fault Yuriko was starved of attention. She was always there taking care of her little sister. Everything was going towards her little sister. Yuriko wasn't able to, you know, celebrate important key moments of her life. Like even like the graduation ceremony. She goes out and does it for herself to have some semblance of normalcy in her childhood. Dad gets fucking mad slaps her. Trash, bro. The dad is so trash. I wonder if the dad is also an isekai character in our world. Imagine the dad also got isekai'd. And he's somehow still in this world? I don't know, that's kind of a funny thought to think about because, you know, the only, only truly... Not, it's not only truly terrible people today that we've learned that it's not about that. Hikari also, it's like if you have strong negative feelings, right? Hikari losing that hope is like that strong negative emotion that elicited a truck couldn't to show up, so... That's pretty interesting. But, that's pretty much it. Another, just, arc where Sensei just pries into traumatic past, somehow makes content out of it, successfully deports them, they have closure, it's a happy ending, and in my head canon, the dad doesn't exist anymore, and the siblings can simply live in peace as they can live off of the dad's life insurance. And that's it for me. If you're still here, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content, and until next time, take care.